can see. There's one more. He's on stage. What's that? Oh. What happened? What happened? What we got going oh, here? Oh, Just uh, him, ten bucks. Yeah, keep ticking away, dude. You're dead. Nice, dude. <laughs> They're shooting him before they rogue. No, we rogue, dummy. Huh? We rogue? Oh. Yep, we are now. He's gonna burn up. He's gonna die. Look. No shit, whoa. Sorry, man. Boss, he got a mean DPS, so be careful. Fuck him, I got oh, him. Shit. Oh shit. Yeah, I do shit. too. Sorry. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, but he got straight reds, though. Like, I didn't see a, a nick of blue. Oh, he's back there. Hiding around that tree. Yeah, Silent Killer has a uh, he he got a fucking rifle build that'll hit you, hit you, hit you. Tick 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 tick. Whoa, yeah, he got a that Silent Killer, ain't it? Nah, I um, Chef. Okay, yeah, yeah no. he got that. I think Chef has the red. Let's be careful. Leave it alone. Up top, up top. Yeah, yeah, it was just sitting back. Tick, tick, tick. I'm coming, man. Okay, okay. Talk to me, whoa. Bust it hard right, bust it hard right, go with this. Yep. If you got a guy to your left. Yep. Uh, yep, they they can try to uh, circle real quick. Yeah. Run for your life! Yeah, sit down with your rifle build, bitch. Oh, there's another dude, what the hell? Somebody come. Um, I'm dead. Careful, be careful. Oh, he stopped you. Ah, I tried. Well, I tried, I was trying brother. to get a back. I was trying to get around, bro. I was trying to get around you, bro. I was trying to get around you. Not sure where that's for. I tried to, brother. GG's, guys. Legendary, though. I did Roseville Island on Heroic. I'm feeling confident. Dude, yeah. I haven't done any Heroics yet. <laughs> I need to get <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to get oh, it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shizzles, shizzles, shizzles. Oh, one step. Backside, backside. Yeah, eat them up, Hive. Eat their asses up, Hive. Where did you didn't see the guy with the rifle? Why are you running? Y'all gotta save me some. I literally bent the back of the semi truck. And oh, was ho, ho, ho. what happened? That plan didn't work out for you, did it? Uh, you need to have to come for it. I'll see you on there. On there. So, what was that? Oh. Dude? So, who was that? My. See what my door, bro. Oh, shit, it's overnight, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. What up, homie? Come on, I'm over here, y'all. I'm over here. I'm over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, we we fighting real quick. We in a good shit. Man. Can you deal with that? Hold on, well, hold on, hold on. Where you at? What's his name? Thug Love. Behind us. Oh, NPC. They're over here by me. Yeah, I'm getting hit by a sniper dog. He can heal. He can heal. I see that. The health is jumping up. Yep. 
Yeah, but now he's ticking. That sniper dog is fucking me up. Holy shit. Buying the sausages? Yeah, the little smokies. Yeah, what? Oh, yeah. Get, the, what? get the jumbo can, bro, with some saltine crackers, bro. Say no. Uh, skill, uh, cool skill. So I actually have to waste my ammunition all the way back. That's fine. It'll be worth it though. Oh, I didn't know that. What is up, Gorilla Nation, and welcome back to another Division 2 build video. But if you would be so kind, please show some love to that like button. Also, smash that sub button if you happen to be new to the channel. And don't forget to reach up there, trigger that bell, and turn on post notifications. So that way you never miss a live stream or a video that is uploaded. First and foremost, I do apologize for my mediocre thumbnails. I'm not one to put cringy photos of myself with my mouth hanging open, looking like I'm just waiting for something to be inserted in it. So don't fall for the glitz and glamour of thumbnails, especially those that have like one gazillion damage damage or you know 30 million dps when you know the dps meters are completely broken you can shoot uh cardboard targets in the firing range repeatedly and that dps will go up it's just clickbait so don't fall for all those crap sandwiches that these mediocre content creators are selling you out there because this build here well, actually, uh, I'm actually, I should say, grateful for those builds that they do put out because I've been slapping them around them in the dark zone because they just cannot hang with uh, the testimonies uh, that I present to them. But without further ado, let's hop into it, starting out with a specialization where you're utilizing the gunner. Um, the cum grenade definitely does come in handy, especially with elites or players. You get them stuck in place and then you can focus them down, especially those with a shield. You get them stuck and they can't move, so they're easily, you know, outmaneuvered. You can run behind them, uh, outflank them, and they're easily dispatched. Also, uh, every third reload is 50% faster when you're running LMGs. That can come in nice and handy. Armor repair kits, 100% armor, and grants 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. Definitely also comes in handy. Killing an enemy grants 10% armor, even though it's just a mediocre 10%. Uh, that can still, you know, come in clutch and uh, crucial. Uh, also, as far as generates 10% of total ammo capacity every 60 seconds, that helps out you and your party members, especially if you're not near an extraction uh, to restock up and you're, say, you're pinned in and you're on manhunt like we were earlier at level 70. Uh, as we proceeded onward and upwards to over 100. Um, so it definitely plays its part. Also, 15% weapon handling while not moving need to be motionless for one second, especially when running unhinged LMGs. That extra little bit of weapon handling does come into uh, play, and it is very effective and nice to have. Also, rate of fire increases by 5% on kill for 5 seconds. Uh, also, uh, comes in really uh, handy if you want to run a Banshee Pulse. Um, you can also do that as well. The only other uh, specialist that you can actually use is the Technician just for the plus one skill tier in which it'll give you um and then if you run into a lot of dogs and doing uh you know heroic control points or missions that are uh, black tusk oriented then this will come in handy and also it beef up your hive uh, if you want to inflict uh, bleed status effect along with the plague of the pestilence you can do that as well if you're in pvp situations and uh, smacking around these rifle builds that i have been uh, here lately in the dark zone then you can also put on a cluster seekers to promote that stagger or just a one hit wonder seeker so that way it'll also uh, inflict and as always Thank you, Division, for uh, Delta and me. Not only from playing video games, but also even playing the Division 2. Go freaking figure. But anyways, enough of my rambling. Let's hop into the build. Of course, we're utilizing the Pestilence, Plague of the Outcast. Hit supply debuff, dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. So 50 times 100% of your weapon damage, as you've seen in the last clip, uh, the NPCs were ticking for over, what, 500k? So with my continuous uh, 
you know damage that I inflict with them per bullet over 600k uh, and it's a continuous thing so every NPC within the 25 meters as you can see in the description below that whenever an enemy dies with this debuff uh, all stacks are transferred to a nearby enemy within 25 meters definitely can be devastating and not only help out your team uh, but that is tons of DPS especially when you got 600k just taking away especially if you're having to reload the secondary of course I have the M249B it is just one that I'm trying out 12% LMG damage 11% damage to targets out of cover and it has 7% crit chance with unhinged but if you prefer other LMGs like uh, this one here the military MK46 uh, also with the additional reload speed can come in handy but I would prefer crit chance also there or just uh, enemy armor damage uh, that would uh, also further inflict and help out my damage output but use whatever you see fit and of course pistol I'm just running uh, uh, vindictive killing an enemy with a status effect apply grants you and all allies 15 meters 15% critical hit chance and 15% critical hit damage for 20 seconds definitely comes in handy and works out really nicely we have four pieces of true patriot one badger tough and one petra the petra gloves here are the contractors gloves they have 11 percent damage to armor and that 11 percent damage to armor can kind of play an effect especially if you don't have or can't you know more or less justify a uh, you know typical backpack talent you can just put on a true patriot backpack and since if, if you do have these contractor gloves that 11 percent damage to armor is in most cases a lot more damage uh, than what you would find on typical backpacks mostly you'll find like things like bloodsucker on them but you know it's to, to each his own i just try to further my damage output and i'm utilizing these gloves 12.6 percent weapon damage and of course 5.8 percent critical hit chance i'm using badger tough here and instead of the likes of Heligard, um, because it does have perfect unbreakable but mainly because it does have an offensive mod slot in which I put in 4.7% crit chance and then it had a decent mediocre roll of 3.7% critical hit chance uh, health really doesn't matter in this game and then I put 15% weapon damage on it the perfect unbreakable gives me 100% of my armor cooldown is 55 seconds but if you want to go Heligard here, just know that it does have a defensive mod slot versus an offensive. But I guess that's all dependent on your critical hit chance and if that's the route you're trying to take. And so that health there, uh, that 15,014, I'd prefer critical hit damage. And as the RNG gods continuously try to bend me over and uh, rape me blind, um, I just can't for the life of me get a better chess piece with the crit damage, crit chance, and whether I can put perfectly or just unbreakable in general on it or just another badger tough uh, you know chess piece where it has perfect unbreakable but regular unbreakable will be suffice now for the four pieces of true patriot along with the plague of the outcast you get 30 percent ammo capacity 30 percent magazine size and as far as the red white and blue red amplifies the enemy's damage taken by eight percent the white shooting the enemy repairs you and your allies armor by five percent once every second and blue decreases the enemy's damage dealt by eight uh, percent now one thing to keep in mind if you have a chess piece with empathetic resolve um, and if you just want to further your DPS output over you know the likes of increasing your survivability uh, with perfect unbreakable or unbreakable in general uh, empathetic resolve works out well with the true Patriot four piece repairing an ally increases their total weapon and skill damage by three to fifteen percent for ten seconds one to seven percent if self now once they have that debuff applied on them which is I believe it is the uh, white shooting enemy repairs you and your allies that repair reflects and can proc that empathetic resolve so keep that in mind as well if you want to go a different route than other than unbreakable but this particular mask here has 125 943 armor 5.3 percent critical hit chance and then 15.1 percent uh, incoming repairs just to get a little bit extra out of my repairs but if you're doing the likes of heroic missions then you can either substitute for protection from elites or if you're in the DZ running across a lot of people using hives you can just stick in uh, bleed resistance mods as well 
but to each its own it's whatever you prefer now that backpack we have 136 382 armor 5.1 percent critical hit chance and bleed resistance in that one as well but also again you can put that protection from elites and just having these two pieces will give you 22 percent uh, protection from elites well for me anyways because all i have is the 11 percent varieties uh, when it comes to protection from elites so with better mods you can further extend that protection from elites now on to the knee pads 15 percent weapon damage um, I, instead of the repair skills here definitely would prefer critical hit chance i just can't find a decent pair of knee pads to save my freaking life but once i do uh, and if it has a decent amount of weapon damage on it then i will apply critical hit chance here now on to the holster 139 612 armor five percent critical hit chance as you can see it's more or less the theme of stacking crit chance to uh, increase that damage output any way and every way you can now i do have 1.1 million armor and the one thing that differs here is if you're running in a group and in group play whether it be the dark zone or uh, in heroic missions or trying to do leagues now I would sacrifice one blue and in place put a red to up my damage even further Especially if they're running like a talent uh, on their chest piece like Vanguard when they pop out a shield I get bonus armor or the likes of that exotic chest piece as well So that way I can give up a little extra armor and further my DPS output So also keep that in mind. So let's go over the character sheet itself now with the Pestilence, only 31.6% critical hit chance, and for the M249 or the MK46 at 53.6% critical hit chance, and if I have that at least 5% critical hit chance that I'm missing on those knee pads, then that would put me at 58.6% critical hit chance. And even though it's only 35% critical hit damage, that does definitely, uh, I would say, uh, amplify my damage output and when you utilizing the pestilence uh that in everything that you can get your hands on as far as damage wise that you're able to put on there without sacrificing survivability then uh, definitely go for that uh 65 headshot damage 11 percent damage to armor no damage to health because we're not using assault rifles reload time five and a half seconds 2.4 percent reload speed bonus there are the rest as followed, 61.2% all weapon damage bonus, and then we have 37% light machine gun damage bonus for a total of 98.2% all weapon damage going to my LMG. And there are the rest as followed. I get 106,000 armor on kill. There's my max health, health regen incoming repairs my protection from elites like i said it's just a matter of changing out those uh mods and whether you're doing pve or pvp to each their own but i hope you guys enjoyed it hope it's been informative um like i said if you can run in a group that may have uh such things like the vanguard chess piece talent that gives you a proc of bonus armor on top of your armor or someone in your group also is running like the exotic chest piece then you can definitely sacrifice more blues in order to further your damage output and you can mix and match however you see fit but i do definitely recommend crit chance on everything so that way you can still hit crit chance cap um, by getting the the good rolls on these pieces even though you're limited by one attribute per true patriot piece so keep that in mind as well but thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you fudging later